Hello and welcome to Dairy Community Television. My name is Kimberly Hawes. Today we're here to talk about Dairy Fest, our annual fall festival. I'm joined by Mike Gendron. How are you today, Mike? Very good. Thank you for having me here and I'm thrilled to be able to talk about Dairy Fest in its 24th year. I know it's hard to believe that it started in 1990. It's really grown since then, too. It has. It, uh, it's uh, hard to believe it's been that many years, but there's a, a lot of people in history that have done a great job to bring it to where it is now. Uh, there's only one member of the original Dairy Fest committee left on the committee. That's Kathy Goldthwaite. Uh, she's one of the chair people, along with myself and uh, Sean Fakera, uh, that uh, make Dairy Fest happen each year. So I want to congratulate Kathy on her 24th year as a committee member of Dairy Fest. Yeah, she's really amazing. And for those of you at home who don't know this, Dairy Fest is put on by all volunteers. So if you ever want to help out, with this great event, please get in touch with Mike or Kathy or Sean and, and they'll help you get pointed in the right direction. It's really worthwhile and it's a lot of fun when we see it, it all come together. Yeah, it's, uh, it's kind of on cruise control now after all this many years. Uh, um, we have uh, uh, over 100 booths already booked. Um, so that means it's going to be a lot of great uh, uh, vendors there, food vendors, craft vendors, uh, specialty vendors. I know there's a, a karate school that's going to be there. There's going to be dance schools. Uh, there's going to be uh, a lot of great uh, information that could be had there. And there's a lot of fun things for the kids, too. There's going to be games and paint, face painting and, uh, as I mentioned, all the great uh, foods that are going to be there. Did I say foods twice? Mm. Must be because I like all well, the foods. yes, all those foods are good. <laughs> <laughs> so, yes, it's going to be a lot of fun. We've got a great entertainment schedule uh, set up, and I can tell you a little bit about that if you'd like. Yeah, well, let's start by letting everybody at home know that Dairy Fest is on September 21st. We will be going live on Channel 17 all day long to bring you coverage of the event. Of course, we hope that you come out and you participate in the town event, but if for some reason you can't, if you're not feeling well or something like that, you know, tune into Channel 17. You'll get to see all of the great acts. And Mike, before we get into the lineup for Dairy Fest itself, let's talk about the activities that lead up to Dairy Fest because for a second year in a row, we have a talent show. We do. Leading up to Dairy Fest, and that starts on September 14th, so it's time to mark those things in our calendar. It is. It's kind of fun because uh, Dairy Fest isn't just one day anymore. It's a. It's going to be a week before Dairy Fest. It starts uh, on. Excuse me, Saturday, September 14th at 4 p.m. at the Dairy Opera House is the preliminary round of Greater Dairy's Got Talent. Uh, they've already had their auditions the uh, uh, past couple weeks, and they've narrowed it down to 25 talented contestants that will be performing on uh, Saturday, September 14th at 4 p.m. at the Dairy Opera House. And you can go and check out those preliminary auditions, and they were going to whittle that down to the 10 most talented people who will then perform the night before Dairy Fest on Saturday, September 20th at 7 p.m. Um, the tickets to get for, for the uh, Saturday night event are $8 uh, for adults and $6 for students. And with that, you get a chance to vote for your favorite act. And it's a fundraiser to help benefit the Opera House, so I hope everybody will uh, support the Opera House. It is, it'll be a great uh, entertaining event as well, too. We have some talented folks that live here in Derry, in Greater Derry, so uh, check it out. Yeah, I emceed the event last year, and I intend to do that again. And it's so much fun, folks. It really is. I mean, and it's a, and it's a great way to support the Opera House, which we love. They've, they've been such a, a wonderful member of our community for many years now. So it's great to be using the facility for such a good cause. I know a lot of people may not have ever even been in the Opera House. It's a terrific place. I used to be on the Arts Council there. And there's a lot of great events. They're really, um, there's a new crew of people in there that are really trying to get a lot more events in there. Um, I have their uh, schedule right here in front of me, but if you go to dairyoperahouse.com, mm -hmm. uh, you can see everything that's coming up at the Opera House. It's a great website. 
Yeah, they really have been working really very, very hard in the last few years to bring, you know, recognition to the wonderful environment that they have. There's no reason to go outside of Derry when you have sure. such a good theater. Who needs Broadway? <laughs> well, we all know we need Broadway and the arts in general. <laughs> and this right. is, you know, Derry Fest it isn't just about the fried dough and, and the vendors. Of course, we love the vendors and all of the great food. Um, but it is a chance to, you know, show off some of our local artists as well. Um, and, and again, before we go into the lineup, let's just mention the things that happened before Dairy Fest mm -hmm. so we don't forget them. We don't want to forget anything today. Um, there's the Spaghetti Supper. Yes, the Dairy Village Rotary Spaghetti Supper has been a tradition with Dairy Fest for, for almost, as I think, every year of Dairy Fest. And that's from 5 to 7 at Pinkerton Academy the night before Dairy Fest. Um, again, uh, it's a, a fundraising event. Uh, I think it's only $5, and uh, it's a great chance to start off Dairy Fest. You can eat the your spaghetti dinner and then go over to Greater Dairy's Got Talent after that. And then the next morning before Dairy Fest, uh, again another tradition, the St. Luke's uh, has their annual uh, pancake breakfast and that's a free will offering but I'm sure if you'd like to donate the, mm -hmm. a little bit to say thank you to them uh, they would very much appreciate it. But that's pancakes, scrambled eggs, bacon and sausage and all the muffins and juices and coffee that you'd like which is a great way to, uh, to get started so you don't start Dairy Fest on an empty stomach you would want that to happen <laughs> and so that will lead up right up to the um, the opening ceremonies of Dairy Fest right at 10 a.m. and the great thing about the opening ceremonies is we have Miss Greater Dairy Megan Cooley will be featured singing the national anthem and uh, it'll be a great way to kick off the day and right after the opening ceremonies the Bel Airs are back by popular demand they're a doo-wop group they sing some songs a cappella and some with backing uh, music but they are terrific uh, vocalists and they will be singing some songs from a bygone era that I know everybody will love and then we have the world famous Derry Red Star Twirlers performing at 11 o'clock. Uh, they do a terrific job and they're just coming off a great championship and their baton twirling championships um, of the world. <laughs> so I'm sure uh, we'll all be excited to see them and uh, yeah. uh, have them perform. Gina does a great job with those girls and, and all of them are truly professionals mm -hmm. when they're out there. Even the littlest ones are professional. They're, they're the cutest ones. <laughs> <laughs> They're no bigger than the baton. I know. <laughs> so, um, at uh, 11.55, as you know, each year uh, we honor our POWs and um, missing in action uh, soldiers by having a ceremony, a solemn ceremony. And that'll be, um, uh, before that, we'll have Miss Greater Dairy Outstanding Teen, mm -hmm. Caroline Carter, will be singing uh, God Bless America. So that'll be a solemn ceremony. It's always very uh, uh, heartfelt each year. Very moving. And then um, at 12.30, we mentioned Greater Dairy's Got Talent. The three top winners of Greater Dairy's Got Talent, uh, part of their prize package is to sing at Dairy Fest or to perform at Dairy Fest. Uh, so at 12.30, those three top winners will be performing at Dairy Fest. So that'll be great to come and see them. And then we'll move right on at 1 o'clock. We have a great magish, magician. He's right here from Derry. His name is Bob Reardon. He owns Wonder Productions, and he's a terrific magician. I know the kids will really love him. Uh, it's, he's mesmerizing. His tricks are amazing. And uh, I think all the kids will really enjoy that, and kids young and old like me. Yeah, I was going to say, the kid inside of me really kind of makes me want to sit down and watch that one. Yeah, he's, he's, he's terrific. Um, at... Uh, 145 uh, LA Dance is a new dance group in the area. We'll be mm. doing a quick uh, demonstration, and I neglected to mention that also Dance Progressions, uh, another dance school, will be performing at 1215. Uh, very exciting. At 2 o'clock, uh, we will have um, the Wildlife Encounters Zoo presentation again. Mm. Um, however, in addition to that, the zoo will be in place again all day. Uh, they'll have all kinds of exotic animals there for you to see and learn about. They'll have the folks from the uh, Granite State Zoo there talking about all those wild animals. And then at 2 o'clock, they bring the animals right up on the stage and they'll talk about each one. Uh, it's always a highlight. The kids usually love that. Uh, it's one of their favorite parts of the day. So we're looking forward to that. 
Yeah, and they'll be bringing the roaming tortoise again this year, which is so cool. Something we really have to thank Eric Bodenrader over at Parks and Rec for, you know, hooking us up with that last year. I mm -hmm. mean, he's a phenomenal member of the Dairy Fest committee, but this roaming tortoise he's gotten for us, it takes <laughs> the cake, really. Yeah, it's, it's really neat. It was the first time we had him last year, and he definitely was a highlight, and he walked all around the whole park. I think he walked around the park more than I did. <laughs> So, um, but yes, um, I have to say that the Dairy Recreation Department is a key part of, of making the Dairy Fest a success. They help with the setup during the morning and they stay all day and deal with trash and all that. And they're the last ones to leave. So thank you, Eric Bodenrader and the entire Recreation Department. Um, at 2.45 in the Hampshire Academy, a dance uh, is going to do a presentation. And then one of our traditions each year is Stagecraft, which is the East Dairy School of Music uh, band and, and choral group, uh, will be performing at 3.15. And then the headliner of the day at the end of the day is uh, 4 o'clock p.m. is the sold out show band. Uh, they're a terrific uh, big band with horns, saxes, drums, and guitars, and they play a lot of great uh, funk and soul and uh, blues and all the stuff that I, I remember growing up, like the Chicago and Blood, Sweat, and Tears and those types of bands. So it's going to be a terrific day. And um, of course, I would, would be remiss if I didn't say that all this entertainment doesn't come free. And so we really need to uh, thank our sponsors who step up to the plate and help uh, fund Dairy Fest. Dairy Fest uh, it, it costs money to put on. We have uh, police details, uh, bus, shuttle buses, and we have to uh, pay for all our entertainers that we have all day long. And so we have had some terrific mm -hmm. sponsors step up to the plate this year uh, to help us um, fund Dairy Fest and uh, make it an exciting, fun day. And the great thing about being a full sponsor at Dairy Fest is that you get a free booth. Right. Anybody that's a full sponsor gets a free booth. So all our full sponsors will be at Dairy Fest. For example, Granite State Credit Union is a new credit union here in town. They are a terrific group. Uh, they're so friendly, and they're one of the few organizations I see where their philosophy is to is their outreach to the community. Um, they are very friendly and I think you uh, would appreciate getting to know the folks at Granite State Credit Union, uh, Jody Ducharme and all the folks over there. So check them out at the, their booth. Parkland Medical Center again has stepped up to the plate. Uh, they always are a great partner in Dairy Fest and they'll be have their own booth there as well. Uh, my kids were both born there. It's a great hospital. I, I love great Parkland. Great partner to the community too. <laughs> really. Parkland Medical Center really does, does so try much for us. as hard as it can. Mm -hmm. Great, great place. Um, we have a great uh, restaurant that has stepped up to be a full, full sponsor. That's How's Your Onion Restaurant, one of my favorites. Mm. Uh, they, ha they will have some of their um, spiked potatoes, I think they call them. Uh, they're terrific. Uh, but it's a concoction that you will really love. If, if, Stay away from the French fries. Go try out the spiked potatoes. Those are fantastic. A brand new uh, full sponsor this year is Dairy Chiropractic. Um, I'm very close with them because that's my chiropractor. <laughs> and uh, isn't, it's really terrific. Uh, they, they, I've had lower back pain for a long time, and they can make it better. But the greatest part about it is they're going to be at Dairy Fest giving out free massages. So, you better not tell me that because I might not be back on the stage to MC the you'll event. You'll find me on the massage chair. It's going to be fun. I think you should head over there and see Dr. Kodalak and uh, all his folks over there and they'll be giving out free massages and you can learn more about uh, chiropractic because it really is uh, to me, it's helpful, I'm sure, to a lot of other people, too. Uh, the Dairy Republican Committee has stepped up to the plate, and they'll be there with their own booth, handing out information, and we really appreciate them supporting Dairy Fest in such a, a strong way. One other restaurant's a full sponsor, too, is Whippersnappers Restaurant. Yep. Um, the lead singer of the sold-out show band, Mark Berlanger, is a key person at the Whippersnappers. So they've uh, stepped up to the plate and chosen to become a full sponsor. They'll be serving cheese steaks. So, mm -hmm. And I'll just get a real quick mention our co-sponsors. Enterprise Bank, a very good full-service community bank over on Crystal Ave. Rigatoni's, again, another mainstay in dairy. Lisa DeSisto consistently is a, a, a great uh, business in our town. And by the way, if you go to our Dairy Fest website, dairyfest.org, you'll see all our sponsors, and you can click on their little logo, and it'll take you to there. Well, I see you brought that up. I'll bring it over to um, all of the sponsors, which are right down here. There we go, Parkland Medical, Granite State Credit Union, 
Dairy Chiropractic, and you can just click on their uh, logo right there, and it'll take you to their website mm -hmm. and their menu, and you can learn more about each of our sponsors there. So uh, the other sponsors uh, that we have are uh, uh, Handle with Care Veterinary uh, Service. They are a terrific veterinarian. Uh, they just became AAHA accredited, which means they give exceptional standard uh, service uh, for pet medical care and service. Uh, and then the last two are patron sponsors, Ahern and Nichols Dentistry. Again, my dentist. Great, great <laughs> folks, John Ahern, Sean Nichols, all great folks. PVD Funeral Homes has always been a great neighbor. They've been there for the, our community for over three generations. And we want to thank Eric and Craig Peabody for that. So those are all our sponsors. I, I, I felt like it's very important if uh, Dairy Fest would not happen without these sponsors. If you're a business and you'd like to consider being a sponsor next year, please contact us in early, early uh, August and uh, we'd love to have you participate in Dairy Fest. Yeah, folks, it doesn't have to be some place where Mike goes in order for you to be a sponsor. It may just seem that way. We really want everybody to come out and, and sponsor Dairy Fest. And these, and these folks here, I'm, I'm just kidding about Mike being a client for them. They're really the people who every year um, step up to the plate to support things like Dowry Fest and so many other things in the community. You'd be surprised you see these names again and again. So certainly make sure that you, you know, give them some return business um, as a thank you, as a thank you. All right, so here we are on the um, parking section of our website. This is uh, under the entertainment um, uh, what's happening section and it's, it talks about uh, par parking and shuttling. Um, you can park your car in any number of spots throughout the town and one of them is the Fire Eye uh, Company over on Shenito Road mm -hmm. right down near the corner of uh, Crystal Ave, Manchester Road, uh, Shenito and there will be a shuttle bus every 15 minutes there as well as at Birch Heights which is the assisted living uh, home. Is that Kendall Pond Road or? Uh, yeah, that's yeah. Up, up in that direction. Yeah, the Ford Way or whatever. Mm -hmm. um, the Nutfield Building is the uh, medical building in front of Parkland Medical Center, uh, as well as the superintendent's office down by uh, the traffic circle. Mm -hmm. um, we also have a map of the downtown municipal lots, and I believe I have that right here. And this shows you where all the different parking lots are in town. Down below it'll list by color, uh, the Merchant's Row, Abbott Court, Benson's Hardware Parking, Municipal Lot, Wall Street Lot, Municipal Lot on East Broadway, and the lots on Birch Street. So as you can see, there are many different places to park. The closest one being right here, number six, um, on Mar uh, near, off of Marlboro Road, on the other side of the Sonic Lodge from the Dairy Public Library. However, one of the closest parking lots that I'm aware of is Grinnell uh, Elementary School. Well, uh, once you park, uh, unload on Boyd and load your family and let them go to the park. Bring your car straight up the hill and there's uh, the Grinnell Elementary School. Plenty of parking up there and it's only like a quarter of a mile walk back down to uh, mm. the, the, the park. So. Yeah, it's really important to remind people that Boyd School is just for unloading. You cannot park there, folks. It's very, very important that if for any reason the fire trucks had to come through there, um, that they would have the room to do what they need to do to protect and serve our population. Um, but Mike has provided some great maps. I, and even if you don't come to Dairy Fest, go to the website and download that and, and print it off for yourself. So next time you, you think to yourself, there's no parking downtown, it will prove to you there's plenty of parking downtown for us to enjoy our downtown atmosphere and great events like Dairy Fest. Is there anything else that we wanted to touch base on today, Mike? Jeez, I hope I I remembered everything. I do want to say thank you so much for being our MC again for Dairy Fest. I know it uh, it comes with a heavy heart because I know uh, you have some new news for us. Yeah, I do. I mean, I'll still be part of Dairy Fest, and I I will definitely support um, dairy and everything that the town does to better our community and make it a a great place to work and live. But I do have to tell my audience at home, my wonderful viewers who have been there for me for the last three years that I have accepted a full-time job at Foster's Daily Democrat. My husband and I had to move to Dover for his work. Um, he was supervisor of the press room for the union leader, which I'm sure you all know has been outsourced to Seacoast Media Group. So it will be a hard day for me 
Saturday will be the last time I'll see you folks in a long time. So on the 21st at Dairy Fest, if you get the chance, come by the stage, say hi, and see you later. And um, you know, I'd love to. I'd love to see all of you um, one last time before I I pack up and I, I start writing for that newspaper. You'll still be able to see my work on Fosters.com, so don't worry. Um, it may not be as pertinent because I'll be covering Dover and Durham, but I certainly appreciate my fan base here in Derry. So, with that, I'm going to wrap this up. Make sure that if you don't get to Dairy Fest that you watch our coverage on Channel 17. We'll be going live all day. We are filming Dairy's Got Talent, so you'll see that on Channel 23, our public access station, once that's been edited. And you'll also be able to catch excerpts from Dairy Fest like you were able to last year um, once we get that through pre-production as well. Once again, my name is Kimberly Haas. Have a great day.